Hello my beautiful Sagittarius and welcome to your love reading. Today we're going to see what is coming towards you, okay? Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments and subscribe to the channel. I adore you guys. If any of you would like to book a personal reading or to purchase anything, all info is in the description box below, okay? Um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, so just take what resonates, which agenda, which roles you've got to do and leave the rest. So it's for my beautiful, oh, we're 10 minutes, for my beautiful Sagittarius, okay? Okay. So what's happening here? Okay, so two cards for you guys wanted to come out, you know, so we'll just take both of them. So first, let's start with the breakup. It says separation, heartache, and freedom, okay? That's the first card. And then we have the yin-yang twins, which reads twin flames, balance, and unity, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the slip and slide, which reads cleanse, release, and fresh start. So this is very self-explanatory. I feel like for some of you... You broke up with someone, it could have been a twin flame or just somebody who just felt like, you know, your other half. You're separated from somebody. I feel like this person wants a fresh start with you, okay? They want to cleanse everything that happened in the past. They just want to completely start over because I feel like this person feels incomplete without you. I feel like you feed into their darkness and bring them the light and vice versa. You just keep somebody balanced. I feel like someone feels like you are their balance. So somebody's really feeling the breakup. I feel like the feeling is mutual as well. I feel like you're both feeling this right now. But it does not have to be okay. But yeah, a lot of these readings, because we're in Mercury retrograde, I feel like all of them are going to be filled with past people. Okay? So, I mean, it just is what it is. But um, either way, like I said, if you're like, well, fuck the past, the past is not saying that about you, okay? They really want to, um, they want to be back together, it looks like. Okay, they feel like you are the yin to their yang or vice versa. So this is for my beautiful Sagittarius. I was like, who is this for a minute? Okay, so please clarify the breakup. Let's get straight in with the tarot. Okay, so we have Luna that wanted to come out. Okay, the moon. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So I feel like could be dealing with the um, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio or an Aquarius. But I feel like... um. Yeah, this person thinks a lot about the breakup at nighttime, like when they're trying to go to sleep. I feel like when this person tries to go to sleep, they think about you or like they mourn you at night. Maybe this person suffers from insomnia, so they can't sleep, you know, because they just miss you. Like, so this could be someone who you shared a bed with or maybe you spoke to this person before you went to bed or you had like a routine or something like that. But this person is carrying a lot of deep emotions for you. I feel like this, they feel like you were a part of their destiny. Okay, maybe there's a lot of positive or magical things happen when you guys, you know, were in contact with each other. Okay, so I feel like someone's trying to turn the tables right now. And again, you see that, you know, symbol, the yin yang symbol right there. So I really do feel like somebody feels like you are their balance, you know. Or you complete them. So, you know, this person, you know, I feel like they're hiding how they feel. They're, they're trying to cover up how much the breakup is really affecting them. But I feel like they're really, really affected by this, okay? Especially with the moon phases. I feel like when the, the moon is in a specific phase, it really um plays on this person's emotions like very intensely, okay? And then we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I told you, this person has a lot of love for you. They're in deep love. Definitely could be dealing with a Cancerian. We got Cancer twice, but it could be any water sign, Okay. But you see how she's got the cup, but the lid is closed. So I feel like this person is like, they got all these emotions, but they're not sharing at the moment. It's like hidden, but they really do want to have another start with you. So you could be thinking like, well, they haven't said anything or maybe you just feel like your ex was done. Like, no, I feel like they're holding all of this in. But, you know, the queen of cups, she's more expressive. The king of cups is the one that doesn't share what he wants to say. But the queen of cups, so I feel like this person will share. Yeah, woo. We have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, it could be dealing with the Gemini. So this person, I feel like the Gemini moon may have really boosted this person's emotions for you. Or this person has really been thinking about you since then. Like remember we had that Gemini moon the other day. Underneath that, we have the six of wands. So this could be someone who's like a part of your following or um, they feel that, that they, um, it's almost like somebody sees you as like a prize that they want to conquer or they want to um, show off or somebody could be very proud of you. Okay. But with the lovers card at the bottom of the deck, yeah, somebody, I feel like you and this person inseparable. Like I said, this person feels like you are their other half. Like you complete them. 
there's nobody else for you but them or vice versa there's nobody else for them but you should i really say so there is a lot of love here like a lot like good god i feel get like i want to get quite emotional so i feel like this person's very emotional over you so this could be someone like when they think about you or when they see you or when their name is mentioned like they have to hold back tears like i'm getting like it's like that deep but they are in, so in love with you man they really want to start again <sighs> so what is this person i'm thinking should i clarify i don't really feel like i need to it's very very short reading very straight to the point guys so what does this person want to say to you wow yeah i can't stand this distance be between sorry let's start again i can't stand this distance being away from you hurts like hell so maybe something got in between you guys because i don't know why i just said that's not there but yeah someone cannot stand being without you like i said i feel like someone feels like you are like like when you are separated they can feel like a part of their body has been like disconnected so this definitely could be a twin flame because the lovers with the twin flame the yin yang twins so like i said like when this person isn't with you it's like they feel like a part of them is missing i never forgot about you i still think about you the way you make me feel what about you did you move on did you meet someone else yeah so like i said i feel like from the gemini full moon or from a long time ago i don't know when this happened this person has been they they haven't forgotten about you man this is what they want to say they've been holding all of these emotions in and they just i feel like someone can't hold in how much they love you anymore they, but they i feel like somebody wants to know if you still love them because i feel like with you it's not obvious maybe you're the person that's good at hiding or not showing your feelings Sarge. okay but they didn't forget about you you know so how is this person viewing you i really love this deck i think it's so adorable okay so we have um we have perfect moments that wanted to come out at the bottom of the deck we have becoming nobody okay that gray energy here which um is very like it's the cards are like this very gray so i feel like this is how this person feels without you they just feel like not they're nothing or they feel not like they're nothing but they feel very blah like very kind of um like there's no excitement in their life there's no color everything is just gray and just dull and dreary also as well i feel like this person views you as somebody who's like you're not in the you're not like you're hidden is what i want to say like they can't work out how you're feeling if that makes sense but like with the perfect moments i feel like this person just they think about the moments that you guys shared together that was like the best you know what i mean like you know like when you're reminiscing you're like oh my god remember that time we did this oh my god it was just so perfect all the time between us it was just so perfect you're just such a perfect person blah, blah, blah. so i just feel like this person kind of i feel like someone's really in their feelings because you know i'm asking how they're viewing you and i feel like they're kind of overtaken excuse me the reading now maybe this is how someone views you maybe somebody feels like you're really mourning the breakup and they feel like you are kind of like nothing without them or like you're just nothing without each other okay but i don't feel like this i feel like this is your energy sad because it looks very sad to me and this is the other person okay it's like they're trying to cover up how they feel or or i feel like they just can't figure out what your feelings are hence why it says here like you know i never forgot about you like do you still think of me like what's going on but you know someone is like they are so in love with you sagittarius they are so in love or again this could be you but thank you so much that was very quick and straight to the point so i mean that is it that is all i don't feel like i have anything else that i need to say here so thank you i hope you guys enjoyed the reading please don't hesitate to comment share like and subscribe bye